this is my aunt Nancy. She's a beast. And this is my mommy. She's a southern belle. And that's me and my mommy. That's my grandpa, and that's my grandma. This is me. Yeah. It's another one of those days where I'm just doing a little bit of everything here and there. A little drawing, a little jewelry making, a little uh, pig boy blue time. So if anybody wants to join me today, same old, same old. You like my skirt. This is why y'all should never throw away stuff. This was just a plain black American Apparel mini and um, the dye actually didn't lift on this one with bleach so I left it in the sun for like two weeks and it created this incredible print. And I made this belt out of old purse chains. I actually made this to kind of cosplay as Myrtle from Hunchback in the, of Notre Dame. And of course I got my boots, my boots, my boots, uh, 90s, um, Steve Madden. I absolutely love them. How unique are they? I made a quick trek to the Nile to do some magnet fishing. Gator. Drone. Not up. I did lose a bait trap in here not too long ago, so I want to try to use this to find it. It's quite a ways down, so I'm going to save it for another day, but I'm going to go try to find some iron in the sand. Never mind, it's starting to rain. I hate the television. Trying to find a place to hang these guys. I just scored these at a yard sale. I am absolutely in love with them. And this little crate. Hey. I also just crocheted a bunch more of these. They're really fun, really easy to make. Beautiful. I made this picture by printing a photo of Jordan Maxwell and sealing it with Mod Podge. <laughs> So I just finished packing up an order, which I actually uploaded that video like um, an hour from now uh, ago. So right now I'm just going to add some stars to the background and then call it a day and then get into chill mode. And for that I'm just going to use some black watercolor paint. Very nice. Let that dry. An air and a spare. So now that it's dry, I'm just going to splatter it with some of this ink. Uh, I just got it. I haven't used it for anything yet, but I figured it would be the easiest and get to get the brightest, you know, the speckles back there. I also cut a piece of paper to be like into the vague shape of that and I have some scraps also so I don't get stars in her hair or on her poppy. I'm going to use this coarse brush because it's got it's got a nice little you know, that. It'll, it'll, it'll splatter nice, I think. I have some water here. I might water it down a little bit. Well, I might. I will. Let's give it a go. Oop. I got a little too close to the paper, but that's quite alright. It's absolutely perfect for stars. You'll see a lot of people do this, and this is why. It's so cosmic. It's so legit. That should be good. I don't want to go overboard. Now I have 
have to just get in there and I'll use a few pieces of scrap paper. First I'm just going to hit that. And off I go. I like it. I'm glad I did it. Who knows where she is? She's in the Star Astra. In the Galaxy of Carmok. Her advisor is named Ewok. Anyway, um, have a fantastic day. I'm going to conclude this video. I will show y'all real quick. I did finish the earrings. I didn't add anything to it, but I really like them. Alright, thank y'all. Thank whoever I thank whoever joined me. And happy choice. And like Green Dean says from eattheweeds.com and here on YouTube, toodles. Check him out. He has thousands of edible plants online that are commonly referred to as weeds, meaning they grow everywhere. Thank you.